a huge tornado is on the way to blow Mikey and JJ's families away. So we need to build tornado houses to survive. I'm gonna build a better tornado house than you, Wudo. Come on, guys. We have to start quickly. It's gonna come in a few minutes. Oh, gosh, that's bad. Quickly, Axie, I'm going to get the strongest block in Minecraft, which is obsidian, to start our tornado house. If we want to survive that tornado, we need to make sure that we can't blow away with the wind. Wudo, obsidian block is so weak. Your house is going to get blown away by the tornado. Mongo, are you looking at your own house? It's literally made out of dirt. You think that's gonna hold up against the weather right now? Oh gosh, it looks so scary. Oh no, Mongo's a goner. Oh, completely, Axie. But don't worry, I know that we can survive. Check it out. We already have an obsidian hut, but I think I have an even better idea of what we can put outside this hut to protect us more. All I need to do is type in this command like this and boom. Boom! Check this out, Axie. I just built a glass sphere around us. So now when the tornado comes, it'll blow entirely over while Mongo's base just gets completely crushed. Whoa, it's like a force field. And I'm not getting rained on anymore. Exactly. My base isn't going to get crushed, Wudo. Look, I have this giant jungle tree that's going to protect it. Mongo, that jungle jungle tree alone is literally gonna crumble and fall directly on you. Are you sure you really want that, bro? Yes, Wudo. It's making it so my base is way more secure than yours. Oh, that's bad, Axie. We can't have anything like that. I think what we need to do to secure our base even more is add an airlock so that the suction of the tornado can't blow us away. That makes sense. And then we can just stay here for 20 years until the tornado is gone. Are you kidding me, Axie? There's no way we can do that. What we need to do now is we need to build the railway that'll go to the actual tornado house. If you didn't know already, the safest place to be when a tornado is happening is underground. So, we're gonna dig straight underground and build our house down here. Wait a second, Wudo. Are you really copying my strategy of building a house underground. What? That's not copying, Mongo. That's just me being smart. Are you sure that you're not copying me? You're such a dumbo. My base is gonna look better than yours. Wait, Axie, look. I see Mongo digging down too. I wonder if later we can make a hidden tunnel to go into his base and mess with him. Yeah, maybe we can spy on him too. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be so funny. But quick, Axie, there's no time for joking around until we have our defenses set up. Now that I'm underground, I'm going to dig to these corners of this cave. And all I need to do with my fancy wand is click those two blocks and voila! We already have the first room to our tornado house and oh gosh, it's Mongo! What? He broke in? Yeah, but quick, Axie. I know where his staircase is and where his secret base is. We'll use that later. And for right now, I'll just mark it with some obsidian so he doesn't know. <laughs> okay, Wudo. I can't wait. Now that we have this big area, though, Axie, I think the first thing we need to do is build a storage area. Because after all, the most important thing to have during a natural disaster like this is to have plenty of food necessary to survive. So I'm going to grab some tables and then I'm going to grab some barrels of food, which will hold all the rations while that tornado comes over and tries to get Mikey and JJ's family. 
please. That sounds good. Can we have a bunch of cake? Cake? I don't know if cake is the healthiest thing, Axie. We need foods that are going to keep our energy up. Things like carrots and cod, glowberries and potatoes, and even tomatoes. Ew, those things sound terrible, Wudo. They aren't terrible, Axie. They're just ingredients. And then what you can do is you can cook them into delicious meals. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a stove. And on this stove, we're going to be able to make any type of food that your little heart desires, Axie. My heart isn't little, Wudo. Oh, okay. Then your big heart, all right? Yeah, that's better. All right. Now, let me just place this big table over here where we'll hold all the food. And now, this is shaping up to be perfect. I better add a refrigerator over here as well to make sure that there's plenty of food to store if it gets bad sitting out in the open. That makes sense, but honestly, if you leave it out in the open, I'll probably eat all of it before it gets bad. Oh gosh, that's another reason why I'm definitely not doing that. But what we can also do, Axie, is we can hang some fish over here. So let me grab some slabs just like this. And now we'll have even more space to hold our food. See? Whoa, you're right. These fish look really tasty. Um, yum, 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 yum. Wait, Axie, you can't eat all the fish, silly. We need to have some salmon and we need to have some cod so that there's an even balance between the two. See? Where are the worms to eat? Wait, what? You eat worms, Axie? Worms sound really nasty. Yeah, obviously axolotls eat worms and also other little fishy thingies. Oh, gosh, that sounds really, really disgusting. I'm glad I'm not an axolotl and I don't eat axolotl food. Yeah, well, turtles eat things like jellyfish and that's pretty gross. Wait, turtles eat jellyfish? I'm a turtle and I don't eat jellyfish. Maybe you're not a real turtle then. Oh, wait, what? No, I'm a real turtle. Oh, gosh. Axie is making me second guess myself, but I'm not going to let her. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to grab some cooking pots so that we can start cooking in here. What are we going to cook first, Woodle? Well, it depends. What do you want to cook first, Axie? Well, usually when I cook... Everything goes on fire, so maybe something with a lot of fire. Oh, yeah, maybe something that you can't have access to touch. How about we fry some eggs instead, Axie? I think that would be pretty good. Okay, let me just grab the pan and... Oh, there's fire! Oh, oh no, fire, fire! Quick, let's get rid of that, Axie, and uh, let's just say you're banned from using the kitchen ever again, okay? Wait, what? Why? Because I don't know if you can be trusted with it exactly, Axie. But what you can be trusted with is making the walls of this room. All I need to do is also set them to quartz and... Ah, I actually did the wrong command. You're trying to kill us. No, I'm not trying to kill us, silly. I'm just really nervous, okay? That tornado's gonna come any second now. And I think what that means is that it's time to mess with Mongo. He's been awfully quiet, hasn't he been, Axie? That's true. That might be because there's a bunch of stone in between us and him. Well, no, Axie, look over here. Remember I found where his secret staircase was? What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some security cameras. Let's go down there and place them down so we can spy on him. Oh, okay. I'll be really, really quiet. Hey, hey, be quiet, Axie. Shh. Let's see what he's doing. Hmm. I could have sworn I heard something, but you know what? It's probably just a storm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is perfect. Let me just place another security camera here. And quick, Axie, run back, run back. Ew, his underwear is here. I'm going to steal it. Wait, what? Don't steal his underwear. That's so nasty, Axie. Come on, inside this hole so I can patch up the staircase. Okay. All right, there we go. Now we're under control. Let's go in the security camera cameras and watch what Mongo's doing. Quick, tell me what's going on. 
thing. Perfect. All I need to do is just create a bathing area over here and I can take showers every day. Unlike Wudo and Axie who stink. Wait, what? Mongo built like a little pool area and the rest of his build looks super sus. This doesn't look like a tornado house. This looks like a stinky bunker. Don't worry. He doesn't have his underwear on a clothesline anymore at least. Uh oh, that's bad. Oh gosh, let me make sure no one's looking to the left and the right. I'm even gonna shut the door at the top. And now it's perfect. Time to poop. Oh, <gasps> wait, what? Mongo's gonna poop? And I have the full 4K HD security camera on him watching. Ew, why do you wanna watch that? Oh gosh, this one is gonna be insane. Oh, Ew, Mongo literally pooped in his toilet. That's so nasty. Oh, gosh. I think more is coming out. What's happening? Oh, gosh. What? Hexy, you won't believe it. Mongo just had explosive poop and it destroyed his toilet. Ew. Let's go. Now that I destroyed the toilet, it's time to go change my underwear and wait, what? Where did my underwear go? I pooped my pants. Oh, gosh. Hexy, he pooped his pants. And because you stole his underwear, he has no fresh undies. Ew. Ew. I'm so glad I'm not Mongo right now. Are you serious? My underwear, it's gone, which means I need to make a song about it. Oh, underwear. I love my underwear. What in the world does Mongo have? guitar in his hand this dude's actually making a sad song about losing his underwear and having to keep his poopy underwear on ew gross this is not good i've given him artistic inspiration and now he's gonna get famous Oh, gosh, Axie, is this all because of you? You know what? I've had enough. Now that I have no underwear, I'm super angry, and I'm going to put my anger into pranking Wudo. <laughs> oh, gosh, Axie, watch out. Mongo's trying to come to prank us. Let's just pretend like we've been building this whole time, okay? But be on very, very high alert. If he takes any of my cakes, I'm going to get angry. And, uh, 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 uh. Ah, it's me. Is that Freddy Fazbear? What is that? I'm Freddy and I'm gonna eat all your cake. Oh gosh, should I take a bazooka and kill him? No, you're gonna blow up our base. Just hide behind the underwear. Oh yeah, hide behind the underwear. Wait a second. Is that my underwear I see right there? Hey guys, did you come into my base and take my underwear? Wait, what? Mongo, it's you? I thought you were Freddy Fazbear. Oh gosh, I guess I was pranking you, but don't take my underwear again i have a reasoning to why i need them well mongo can you explain that reasoning for us please no leave me alone and don't take my underwear again oh gosh i'm okay mongo we won't take your underwear again but we will be watching you on your security cameras to see what you do later in the video oh my gosh putting down security cameras was a genius idea axie that's so messed up Udo. But it is really funny. Anyways, now that we're done messing with Mongo, we really got to focus up and finish this build because that tornado will come and it won't be happy with us, Axie. So I say what we do is we build an entryway going to the next part of our bunker and it shouldn't be next to Mongo. So let's just make sure it doesn't go anywhere near his base. Let's make it turn to the left over here. And now we can build build the next room, Axie. What should we build here? I think maybe we should build a place where I can play games and sleep all day and be not helpful at all. Oh, are you talking about a cool gaming room, Axie, so that we can stay entertained while the tornado passes over? Uh, not really, but I guess that works too. Oh, gosh. Well, we better work on that, Axie. And by the looks of the outside, this storm's getting really, really bad. Quick! I didn't know we dug into this open space. I think what we need to do is we need to 
to use my trusty wand and repair it. All I gotta do is go down here and then set the walls to obsidian. And then finally, I just need to set the roof to obsidian as well. And voila, the water should be going away. It still looks pretty bad in here though. Look at all this sand. Maybe we should make a beach in here. Oh yeah, maybe we can make our own indoor beach axi so we can pretend like the weather is good even though the weather is absolutely garbage outside come on i think we should start on the gaming stuff first though axi what type of computers should we put down here ultra amazing wide monitor screen computers Oh, yeah, that sounds fire, Axie. I know exactly what you're talking about. Let me just grab some speakers over here. And now I'm going to put the big TV just like this where all the video games will be played. Oh, cool. It kind of blends in with the obsidian, though. You're right, Axie. Maybe we should make the walls a different color in that case. Do you have any good ideas? Maybe dirt? Um, Axie, dirt is a block that Manga would use. We don't use dirt in these amazing builds that I make. Oh, well, in that case, I don't really have any ideas. Oh, what about grass? Grass on the walls? No, silly. I think what we could do instead is find a cool block. Let me just go to all the blocks I have over here and wait. I know what we can use. I'm just going to search diamond and we can use one of these fancy diamond blocks. Whoa, fancy diamond blocks? Yep, so that you can get the ultimate VIP experience while you're down here. Doesn't that look amazing, Axie? Yeah, but the roof is dripping a lot, so I'm going to go fix that. Oh, gosh. Okay, Axie, you go fix that leak upstairs. I know that storm is getting really bad, and that's why it's leaking. But don't worry. I'll take care of us down here, Axie. Let me just connect some more of these speakers so that we can have the loudest music possible and voila axi i think that this is starting to look like the greatest gaming setup ever i'm sure that mongo doesn't have anything better than this right definitely not he's probably still writing a song about his underwear let's go ahead and take a look at the camera monitor then axi i just have to connect to the camera and oh <gasps> Wait, what? It doesn't look like Mongo added much else to his base. And I think he's sleeping right now. Why would he be sleeping, though? Seriously? Does he not care about the tornado at all? I guess he forgot how good we are at building and he gave up already, Axie. I mean, come on. Look at how amazing our build is. And wait, what? Why is there a bunch of grass over here? And hey! Our build didn't look like this. What? Why are there a bunch of toilets? Did we just get pranked? Look at the walls. There are signs that say Wudo is stinky. <gasps> they could have only been one person that would do this, Axie. It was Mongo. Your mom. Wait, what? Why would you say my mom? My mom has nothing to do with this, Axie. I don't know. I only know like four people. Well, because Mongo did this, I think we need to get some revenge on him. And it looks like Sleeping Beauty is fast to sleep right now so come on axie i say we actually sneak down there this time and we start putting down some really funny stuff what should we put i don't know mongo already has toilets and he poops everywhere what could be worse than that well what we could do is spawn in a bunch of bananas i know that mongo's really scared of bananas so if we go down there and place bananas he is going to poop his pants wait mongo Mongo's really scared of bananas. Yes, he's terrified of them. He thinks they look like yellow monsters. So all we need to do is just place down some bananas right over here. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he's going to like these, Axie. <laughs> he's going to be so scared. Let's just put the bananas all around him while he's sleeping. And look, Axie, he even has a banana in his hand. Oh, my gosh, he's not going to see this coming what 
if we steal his underwear again? Wait, I think he put it on. Let's steal something else. Oh, yeah. What should we steal while we're down here, Axie? This thing over here looks cool. Look, it's a bubble blower. And I can blow bubbles. I made it blow bubbles in his face. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Okay, the very last thing I want to do, Axie, is something destructive, like a trap. Let me just get some TNT, and let me also get some pressure plates. And what we can do is we can put down the pressure plates right in front of Mongo, so that when he wakes up, he sets off these blocks of TNT. Oh, that's pretty creative, Wudo. But I think we should also spawn in some funny stuff. Really? Like what? I don't know. He has a lot of puffer fish here, so maybe I can put a bucket of puffer fish on his face. Oh, yeah, but watch out. Don't let the TNT activate, okay? Maybe what you can do is you can put the puffer fish inside his little pool. So when he tries to go relax in his pool, he's just gonna get poisoned. That's perfect. Okay, Axie, I think it's done. Quick, he's gonna wake up any second now. So let's go back to the base and watch him on our camera. Oh, Mongo, I know you're gonna wake up any second now. <laughs> Axie, he's not waking up. What do we do? I got it, Wudo. One second, I'm just gonna come down here. Mongo, wake up! <laughs> What was that noise? And wait, what is going on? Oh, the TNT is exploding. Let's go. Why is there bananas and stuff in my hand? Forget all of that stuff. Mr. Mumu, are you okay? Wait, what? Mongo has a cow named Mr. Mumu? That's weird. We should have stolen Mr. Mumu. I love you, Mr. Mumu. Why don't you go with me to the pool and we can go relax? Did he kiss his cow? I think he did, Axie. And wait, he's with the pufferfish now. I think he's getting attacked. Oh, man. It's a party in here, Mr. Mumu. There's so many different fishies. Wait, what? Okay, you know what? I think this was a failed pranking attempt, Axie. That guy is too weird to be pranked anymore. Yeah, I don't even understand what's going on in his brain. Don't worry, because what we need to worry about right now, Axie, is how we're going to defend Mikey and JJ. I can't believe we almost forgot about them. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some sofas, and I'm going to make them green and red, so that there's a nice big couch for Mikey's family and one for JJ's family. See? What about one for me? Um, Axie, you can have your own little mini TV somewhere else, okay? I care about making sure that Mikey and JJ are safe first. Okay, fine. But after that, Axie, we can start putting down some arcade games. What's your favorite arcade game? Personally, I like pinball machines. Look, they look so silly, and they're also really, really fun. My favorite arcade game is the game where you sneak into the back and then eat all the cakes, and then the people in the arcade get really mad. Wait, what? That doesn't sound like a game, Axie. That sounds like being a thief. No, they're definitely in on it. Trust me. Interesting, Axie. Very interesting. Well, I think what we should also do up here while we have all of our games is build a little disco area because I love to dance. And who else wouldn't want to dance with me, Axie? Come on, come dance with me. No, I'm going to do something better. Wait, what? What are you doing, Axie? I hope you're not messing anything up. No, I'm just gonna make a little room right above Mongo with one white glass so we can spy on him even better. Are you kidding me? We're like spying on him too much, Axie. This is a little bit too easy. Don't worry, it'll only take a moment and then I'll come help with the build again. Oh gosh, okay, fine, Axie. Just don't mess with him too much, okay? I kind of feel bad for the guy. He kisses his cow, Woodle. That's really weird. Oh, yeah, you're right. Never mind. I don't feel bad anymore. But what I do feel excited for is my disco party. Check this out. 
I got my speakers. I got my DJ dance mixer, which will mix all the music for me. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so, so fun when we invite Mikey and JJ's family over. And while I'm here, I can even put up some cool signs on the top. Let me just grab these real quick. And whoa, look at these neon signs. They actually look sick. I might as well go ahead and put some extra lights up too. Let's see. I have some really cool fairy lights lights that light up all across the screen which should be perfect for us look i even have some flashing lights too i'm gonna place these all over they look like christmas lights but they're not even christmas lights they're just party lights axie are you done building your thing i want you to come see my party lights that i installed yes Woodle. i'm just adding a ladder and now we can spy on mongo whenever Ooh, really i'm really interested to see that axie hold on i'm almost done with this though let me just put the rest of my signs up here and what do you think axie doesn't this place look magnificent is this one a pretzel it's making me hungry i think it is it looks pretty tasty to me too but i have to say for a gaming room i think this is one of the coolest ones i've ever built but now it's time for the real deal axie show me where we can spy on mongo right down here look whoa you placed one-way glass so it looks like stone from down there except now we can watch everything that mongo does <laughs> so funny, Axie. I wonder what he's doing now. You know what? I've had enough. It's time to do some target practice. Wait, what? Mongo just put my head on a stick and is he trying to shoot arrows in my face? That's messed up. Hiya, hiya. Take this, hiya. Okay, you know what? We can do the same thing, Axie. Come back up and report to the base. I completely forgot that if we want to survive this tornado, then we need a weapons and armory area where we have the strongest weapons to take care of Mongo and the tornado, of course, but primarily Mongo. Oh, that sounds like a great idea, Ludo. One sec, I'm just expanding the one-way glass one more block and I'll be right there. Oh, that sounds perfect, Taxi. Look, I am basically finished digging out the area for the armory. Now that this is all done, I can just make the walls out of bedrock so that that absolutely nothing and no one can find their way inside and steal my weapons of mass destruction. Boodle, I'm gonna come steal your weapons of mass destruction. What? Don't steal them, Axie. They're for us to share, silly. But I want them. Give them to me. Okay, okay. Well, Axie, I have some bad news. I don't actually have the weapons of mass destruction, but you know who does? What? Who? All right, quick. I'm just gonna get this axolotl plushie and pretend like it's one of Axie's friends. She'll have no idea. All right, let's try it. Um. Oh, hello there, Axie. It's me, Mr. Axolotl. I actually have the weapons of mass destruction. Can you please place them down for Wudo? Mr. Axolotl, you're real? Oh my gosh. Yes, I'm really real, Axie. You wanna do some dance moves with me? Yeah, what dance move do you want me to do? Um, can you do a cartwheel? No, I can't do a cartwheel, but I can do some squats. Oh my gosh, Axie looks so goofy doing squats. Look at her go. I can also do this really funny one. He <laughs> Oh my gosh, Axie actually thinks this is a real axolotl. That is too funny. Excuse me, Axie. Wudo, come on, do some dances too. You're making Mr. Axolotl sad. Oh, I'm sorry, Axie. I was actually going to make Mr. Axolotl a toilet statue over here so that he can sit and watch us as we build our weapons of mass destruction. Okay, Mr. Axolotl, do you like toilets? Yes, I like toilets a lot, Axie. Now, can you please give Wudo lots of TNT so he can blow up Mongo? Okay, I'll give him 10 billion million TNTs. Oh my gosh, Axie listens to this axolotl more than me. Thank you, Axie. You're welcome, Wudo. I only did it for Mr. Axolotl, though. Sure, Axie, sure. Anyways, let me just put all this TNT over here so we have a 
nice stockpile. Ooh, this is looking pretty good. Now that we're all done with that, Axie, I think what we need to do is actually get some weapons for us to use against Mongo. I'm going to go ahead and grab some armor stands real quick and some sea lanterns and also some item frames. And this is where we're going to choose all the different weapons and armor that we need to fight that tornado and save Mikey and JJ's families. We don't need any armor or weapons, Woodle. We have Mr. Axolotl, and he's super powerful. Oh, gosh. How do I tell Ax that Mr. Axolotl's not real? Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to keep it a secret to myself. Um, well, Axie, you know what? Mr. Axolotl says that you do need weapons to survive. Why are you talking about yourself in third person? Should I do that, too? Axie also wants weapons to survive. Oh, gosh. Axie, sure. You can talk to yourself like that, but... But listen, the armor is talking to me more. It says that it wants to be placed down so that it can destroy that tornado. So let's go take a look and I'm going to make some pretty cool armor. Check this out, Axie. How about mutant skeleton armor? Axie says Axie doesn't like mutant skeleton armor. Okay, Axie, you can stop talking in the third person now. That was just a joke for a second. Axie likes talking in the third person. Oh, gosh, this is bad. Let's see. I got to get some really good pieces of armor so that Axie doesn't die out there. <gasps> Ooh, this would be perfect. I think what I could use is some ninja armor to put on her and even an armor like this. Let me just take this real quick and then let me get the rest of this armor over here. And let's see. Does it fit in? Oh. Gosh, wait, what? It went on my own head. Axie, do I look strong? No, you look silly. Leave me alone. Mr. Axolotl and I are making friendship bracelets. What in the world? Okay, fine, Axie. I guess you can have all the fun without me. Why do I never get invited to make friendship bracelets? You can make them too, Hoodle. I'll make you a super green and poopy. Wait, what? Okay, fine. You know what? Axie's just trying to distract me. She doesn't care about saving Mikey and JJ's family like I do. So, for her outfit, I'm just gonna give her a bikini, and I hope she can survive the tornado. Whoa, what is that cool armor? Oh, gosh. I'm not surprised. She actually likes it a lot. Axie loves this armor. Axie's gonna wear this armor forever. Oh, gosh. All right, Axie, I get it, I get it. But here's the thing. Will you like this? Check out my meat shredder. Whoa, give it to me. Give it, give it, give it. Should I shred Mr. Axolotl and make him my lunch? You wouldn't dare. I was just kidding, Axie. It's a joke, but I do want to use the meat shredder for two reasons. For the first reason, maybe we can shred the tornado. And the second reason, maybe we can shred Mongo. Yay! But I don't know if you can shred a tornado. Do you think you can cut it in half? Maybe, Axie. That would be sick. Or what we could do is we could use a slingshot and we could throw things at it. See, I'm throwing bedrock at the wall right now. I think slicing it is a better idea. Like pizza. And then we can slice it really thinly and spread it on bread and eat it. Or what we can do, Axie, is I can get blocks of cheese and then I can slingshot the blocks of cheese at the tornado so it turns into a mac and cheese tornado. That kind of sounds like a tasty idea if you ask me. That sounds delicious. It'll just be a kind of cold mac and cheese. All right, well then here it is. We have the slingshot, our blocks of cheese, and our meat shredders. But we still need some other weapons too, Axie. Let's go ahead and take a look. <gasps> Ooh, I could get a diamond hammer. That sounds really powerful. And then there's some bombs too. I put some raw pasta up so that we can slingshot the pasta and the cheese and then make mac and cheese. Wait, what? Actual pasta? Oh my gosh, you're right, Axie. I guess we are going to make a tornado mac and cheese. I wonder how it's going to taste. I bet it'll be the most delicious thing ever. Well, we'll see about that, Axie. I think I put down some of the other weapons that we need. Let's just see. I think the only other weapon we need is one that I love to mess with. With, and that's the bazooka. If we can't make the tornado into mac and cheese, and if we can't shred it to pieces, then we'll just use this bazooka to blow it up into smithereens. That'll definitely work. What is a smithereen of a tornado, though? 
Like a piece of wind? No, silly. Blowing something to smithereens means that you blow it up so hard that it disappears. Whoa, I can't wait to blow everything up to smithereens. Exactly! So, I think it's time that we leave Mr. Axolotl now and we work on the rest of our tornado base. How does that sound? I'm gonna take Mr. Axolotl with me, Wudo. Wait, what? Oh no! Please don't take me! Oh my gosh! Don't worry, Mr. Axolotl. We haven't finished our friendship bracelets, so I'll do that on the way. Oh gosh! Okay, fine! Oh, I actually made Axie fall in love with that Mr. Axolotl guy. Why did I do that? Okay, Mr. Axolotl, do you want to eat some cake? I'll put you near the cake. Oh, oh wow, that cake's really tasty. Nom, 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 nom. I know. All right, all right, Axie. Let's just leave Mr. Axolotl here so that he can enjoy the cake. I think we have some real business to attend to. Have you realized that the one thing that we're missing in our tornado house is an actual place for us to sleep? That's like the most important part. Wait, do humans not just sleep on the floor? No, and you don't sleep on the floor either, Axie. I always give you a bedroom. Yeah, but I could sleep on the floor. No, you couldn't. You wouldn't survive. So what we should do instead is dig out a nice big area like this. And then what we can do is we can make bedrooms, not only for us, but also for Mikey and JJ's families. I don't want them to sleep out in the open next to that giant tornado, of course. And that weirdo Mongo. Wait, what? He's not weird, Axie. I would just prefer to have my own bedroom. That's all. So, let's just cut this area out. And oh gosh, there's a big leak. What? Leak the vegetable? No, silly. A leak as in there's water coming in. And that storm is getting really, really rowdy. So, let me just go ahead and fix that. And oh gosh, Mongo's base is down there too. I better patch it up before he notices. You're gonna drown him. Why is there so much water? Oh gosh, it's okay. He has no clue why there's water, Axie. We're good. Wudo, this made me really hungry, so I'm gonna sit here and eat leeks. Okay, fine, Axie. While you do that, I'm gonna go ahead and start building these bedrooms. We're going to make them multi-floor bedrooms, so we can have one floor, which is going to have JJ's family, and then another floor, which is going to have Mikey's family. Oh, and then another floor, which is gonna have Axie. Uh, yeah, sure, Axie. As long as you don't blow up the base before then, okay? Okay, can Mr. Axolotl live with me also? Sure, Axie. You can have Mr. Axolotl join you too, I guess. Oh, gosh. She's really not gonna let Mr. Axolotl go, huh? I love Mr. Axolotl. He's the best friend I've ever had in my whole life. I would start crying if anything bad happened to him. Wait, what? Then what about me, Axie? Oh, yeah. You're pretty cool too, I guess, sometimes. What? Okay, fine. You know what? I'm just gonna focus on my in JJ's bedroom first. Let me just make the floor up here like this. And now that that's done, I can go on the lower floor and then work on Mikey's bedroom, which will be right down here like this. Hey, Axie, you want to help me decorate Mikey and JJ's bedrooms, please? Okay, can I put stuff like mud there, though? Because I think it needs some added spice. Wait, what? Mud is not added spice, Axie. Mud is dirty and dangerous. There's already gonna be enough mud from that huge tornado, don't you think? You just don't understand me, Wudo, but you know who would understand me. Who? Mr. Axolotl! Wait, what? <laughs> Hi, I'm Mr. Axolotl. Axie, can you please help Wudo? Okay, Mr. Axolotl, anything you want. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? She only cares what Mr. Axolotl says anymore and not me. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay, Wudo, now that Mr. Axolotl has told me to help, I'm gonna help really seriously. What should I do? Well, Axie, we need to start with JJ's bedroom first. JJ's bedroom is this big red one over here. As you can see, it's really big, but it's missing some fun decorations. So, can you help me put down some decorations? Oh, uh, I could. Actually, I will, because Mr. Axolotl said so. Yes, thank goodness for Mr. Axolotl. 
All right, Axie, you go ahead and do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work on Mikey's bedroom. And then how about we come back and see whose bedrooms ended up better? Okay, Woodle, I'm definitely gonna win, though. All right, so now that she's working on that, I'm gonna go ahead down here and I'm going to start working on Mikey Turtle's bedroom. So his bedroom is going to be completely green, which also happens to be my favorite color. So let me just set all these line blocks to green like this and then set all of these ones too and now there's a really really big area for me to build mikey's bed mikey's wife's bed and then also baby mikey's bed but first i gotta get some cooler blocks to build with this woven lime wool looks really really good so I'm going to use it, except I'm not just going to use it for one floor. I'm going to use it for two floors. That's how cool Mikey's bedroom's going to be. So let me grab some ladders and I'm going to place the ladders right over here so that he has a little loft. Then up here, I can go ahead and put a nice big bed for Mikey and his entire family to sleep on. And then I can't forget, of course, to add their bedside cabinets just like this. And then I'll go ahead and put some other nice decorations too, like a nice little lime lamp because it's green. I'm sure that Mongo definitely doesn't have a cool loft like I do. It's easily one of the coolest things you could add to any Minecraft build. But now that that's all done, I can work on the bottom part. And let's see, I think we should add all sorts of stuff down here, stuff that Mikey will like and baby Mikey and everyone. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to grab a bathtub because who wouldn't want to chillax in the bathtub at any time? Let me just grab that and then I'll get some bathrobes for them. And now they can sit and relax in some hot steamy water whenever they want. And they don't have to worry about the cold from the tornado outside. What I can also do is I can add a couch. So let me grab a nice green sofa and then they can just chillax over here to the right side. And maybe what I can do on this right side is I can add a mini TV for them to watch little shows and stuff in case they ever get bored sitting down here. There we go. And now that that's all done, I wonder what else I should be building too. Maybe what I can do is I can add a little coffee table, you know, a tiny little table where they can eat little snacks so I just need to add that and boom coffee table is now all done I wonder what else Mikey would want in his bedroom though he is a turtle after all so maybe there's some turtly stuff I can put down here maybe I can grab some turtle plushies so that baby Mikey can play with them I'm sure he'll really love these turtles so let me just place those down and now this is looking really really good I'll get some other lime toys as well like a lime sheep over here and then I can also get a lime guitar and I'm pretty sure there's some lime mushrooms frogs and an octopus which look really really cute and they actually work as night lights so I'm gonna go ahead and place a bunch of these over here for baby Mikey to play with and now to wrap up the build I'm gonna grab some fancy paintings and I'm gonna put them all over because I want them to remember how beautiful the outside is look at this bed who wouldn't want to sleep on this thing especially with the view of that beautiful sunset I'm gonna go ahead and put a painting like that down here too and i think this pretty much wraps up my mini bedroom for mikey's family now they can go out whenever they want and get snacks and stuff from our kitchen and then they can bring them back over here to talk to each other or watch a movie or basically do whatever they want oh axi my bedroom for mikey's family's done what about your bedroom and whoa is this for jj's family yeah, there's a bit of a leak upstairs, but I added this cool curtain so that they can have privacy. Whoa, that's actually really cool. I wasn't really thinking about that. I just wanted my bedroom over here to look just really, really cool. Whose do you think is better? Mine or Axie's? I added 
mushroom, so it's definitely mine. Oh, uh, okay, fine. But honestly, Axie, I'm getting a little bit nervous. Mikey and JJ's families have been outside for a while now, and I know that storm is coming in soon. I think we should just go check in on Mongo real quick and then bring the families to our bunker because we know that ours is best. Yeah, let's go. Wait, Axie, that's the wrong way. Remember, you have a secret entrance over here. Let's go scare him. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one. Boo! Hello, Mongo. Hey, Mr. Moo Moo. Let's go play on the trampoline. Wait, what? Mongo, are you okay, bro? Why do you always talk to that Mr. Moo Moo thing? And is all you did while we were gone add a trampoline down here? What do you mean by while you were gone, Wudo? Let me give you a tour of my base. Over here, we have a TV, a kitchen, my target practice, a desk, and best of all, my sleeping area. What else could you want in a house to survive against a bunker? Axie, how do we tell him that we already saw this? Mongo, we already saw this. Wait, what? What do you mean you already saw this? Oh, gosh. I think it's time we go back to our base, Axie. And all we need to do is just find the hole that we made. I think it's up here. There it is. Wait, hole. What do you mean, hole? And <gasps> Wait, what? There was a hole in my base the whole time? Well, not exactly a hole, but it was see-through glass so we could see what you were doing. But don't worry about that, Mongo. I want to introduce you to our bunker. As you can see, you get down from this huge dome up here where the weather is really, really bad. Once you get past that, you go inside into our amazing kitchen, which I think you already saw because you tried to prank us, but it didn't work. So what I had to build instead was an armory over here with weapons and armor that we could use to destroy that tornado and you in case we needed to. I don't know what you're talking about, but this looks pretty cool, I guess. We're gonna make mac and cheese in the tornado. Wait, actually, don't tell him our secret plans. Anyways, Mongo, if you come down here, we have a super cool game area where we have a TV, a bunch of arcade games, and a DJ dance area. But the best thing of all is the fact that Mikey and JJ's families are here. They're outside of that tornado, and now they're ready to move into their new bedrooms. As you can see, this is JJ's bedroom, which has lots of privacy. And then this is Mikey's bedroom, which looks super duper fine. Hmm, interesting. I still think my base is better, so I'm going to it. Goodbye. You're gonna die, Mongo. Mongo, wait, the tornado. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, then watch another video on screen. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye.